And now we're going to talk about those competing plans to try to close the billion-dollar budget gap. Governor Christie has said he wants to get that money that had been designated for payments into the state pension plan to use it to close the gap. Yesterday, of course, Senate Democratic leaders announced they want to raise taxes on corporations and high-income earners instead. What about the Assembly Democrats? What do they think? Joining us now from the State House is the chairman of the Assembly Budget Committee, Gary Sherrick. Mr. Chairman, always a pleasure to have you on. When you, when you heard Senator Sweeney uh, issue his Plan B or Plan C, as it were, yesterday, what, what did you think? I think the senator and through the Senate, the Senate Democrats uh, have been trying to craft something. We are working in the Assembly closely with our colleagues in the Senate in order to respond to a proposal from the government which frankly just doesn't make fiscal sense. The governor's proposal seems to be that we're short about $2.4 billion and the way that we're going to meet the shortfall is simply by not paying bills. Specifically not paying bills to the pension, but not paying bills. And that's not fiscal responsibility, that's not fiscal prudence, Mike. The Republicans would counter, I would suppose, among other things, by saying we have a reputation as a state for being not necessarily friendly to business, and we endanger that reputation even more by raising corporate taxes. We have seen uh, cases of, of so-called uh, high-income flight from the state, and would we not see more of that were we to raise taxes on our high-income earners? So how do you counter those arguments, sir? I think the first question is indeed the first question and needs to be answered first and foremost. I agree with uh, my Republican colleagues that the last thing that I want to do is raise taxes. But the first thing that I want to do is to meet my obligations as a state to the people of New Jersey. Those obligations in this budget, the governor's proposed budget, have not been met. I think we need to realize that and we think we need to realize also that this budget, Mike, despite Republican apprehension notwithstanding, there are over 43 tax increases that the governor has proposed, accounting for over $270 million worth of new revenue that the governor is proposing through new taxes. I'm not saying that's the way to go, but what I am saying is our first priority must be to meet the needs of the people of New Jersey, and the eminent priority must be to fulfill the obligations that we have to the people of New Jersey. Could you foresee any way to you know, wait for the economic income to rise because the economy comes roaring back. Uh, in short, uh, any way to grow our way out of this instead? I think that since uh, Governor Christie was first elected five years ago, the uh, main thrust of his, of his administration, and Assembly Democrats and Assembly Republicans and Senate Democrats and Senate Republicans have joined with him in an attempt to bring in new businesses throughout the state. But unfortunately, the New Jersey economy has not grown at the rate to which anyone anticipated, certainly not at the rate that the governor had proposed in budget after budget after budget. The problem that we're looking at today is the result of five years of uh, forecasts by the governor's office, which have frankly not been met from an economic point of view. And that has brought us to where we are today. And our response to being in that reality has got to be to meet our obligations and to recognize that growing New Jersey means answering the needs of the people. It does mean more money for roads and bridges. It does need, mean more money for higher education. It means more money to give people an opportunity to succeed in their lives. That needs to be part of the budget and unfortunately those items were lacking as well as an essential commitment to the workers of this state that their pensions would be intact and would be met. Mr. Chairman, we have to leave it there. Always a pleasure. Thank you very much, sir. You're very kind. Thank you, Mike.